All right, so let's break this down. You were asked of what your treatment would be for all of this information. So heart rate in the 130s as pictured, but in the video, it, the heart rate was as high as 160. So it's a sinus rhythm with some semi-frequent PVCs, 94% on room air, in title of 30, Restore rate of 18 and a blood pressure of 86 over 54. Additionally, you received the patient was fevered, hyperglycemic, and altered. But 64 years old, what would your treatment be? Cardioversion, fluid bolus, adenosine, or diltiazem? All right, so let's break this down. PVCs, thrown as flags, that something is causing the heart to be irritated. 94%. Ah, nothing abnormal there. In title of 30, whoa, they must be hyperventilating, right? No, their respiratory rate's only 18, so VQ mismatch would cause that hypocapnia. Blood pressure, 86 over 54. Yes, if they are hypotensive, they are hypoperfusing, that can cause that hypocapnia. So, but they have a fever, so that's giving that away. They're hyperglycemic and altered. So having that high heart rate and hypotension, they're in some type of shock. Okay, so they're obviously hyperperfusing by everything on the monitor. What type? Well, distributive. So they are fevered and are hyperglycemic, which patients who um, are in septic shock have a super increase in cortisol, so it makes them very insulin resistant, so it can spike their blood glucose without actually being a diabetic. And they're altered. Maybe it's from the overall infection. Maybe it's from that state of hypoperfusion. So your answer here is going to be a fluid bolus. Septic patients, which this patient obviously is, shock with a fever is sepsis. So we're gonna give them a 30 per kilo bolus, get that fluid going, helping the kidneys and all the vital organs be filtering out that state of acidosis. Cardioversion, adenosine, deltazin would all be applicable in states of cardiac dysrhythmias, but the infection is what's causing all of this. So we treat the underlying causes, not necessarily just what's on the monitor. Remember, treat your patient, not the monitor.